trying to get the base decorations in, like the trees, the wreaths, those sort of things. Good Thursday morning and the start of a new week, and yes, I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty dark. It's a Christmas tree back up there. Yes, it is the start of Christmas week. All right, so yeah, no, it's not the start of Christmas week in your world, but for my videos, it'll be the start of, you know, Christmas month, yay! So yeah, we're getting out Christmas decorations. And what's really interesting about this is I'm going to actually sort of be vlogging while I'm putting up the decorations to explain what I'm doing, but that's a whole other issue. So right now, as I start things, I'm trying to get the base decorations in, like the trees, the wreaths, those sort of things. These are the things which most everything is going to go on. Now what's funny right now is, it got cloudy. It got really cloudy. It had been really nice and sunny. So the minute I pick up the camera to go and get some pictures of what the house looks like right now, it gets dark. So we'll do what we can. So the idea behind this year's theme is the Nutcracker, of course, and with the new movie coming out, I thought I'd try to do the Nutcracker's Four Realms. So in my living room and dining room, we're going to have the Land of the Snowflakes. In the bedroom, it's going to be Land of Toys. My office will be Land of the Flowers, and of course the kitchen just is going to be the Realm of the Sweets. But those are going to be the four realms, and we're going to see what we can do to make it look like Christmas here. Well, Christmas in the Nutcracker is four realms. We'll see what we can do. So here we are, so far. I've got the, the uh, snowflake tree mostly up. Now I'm working on the garland, and the thing which is taking me the most are the more natural tinsel, I guess you'd call it. So yeah, that's been some work. So right now, I'm having one of those moments where I realized I didn't edit the vlog. So I'm editing it right now. It is 7.30. I know this week's vlog, well, last week's vlog for you, was, was short, but yeah. Oh well, I'm editing it now. Okay, so yeah, the one nice thing about this time of year is that. The fact that, I mean, everything just looks really pretty in the glow of Christmas lights. So yeah, that that is nice. Even though that being said, that is not this time of year. I guess it should be the glow of Halloween lights. I don't know, but yeah, it really is pretty and I'm enjoying it for its first day. I still have the other room to do and probably finish up this room, but yes, with the Nutcracker theme, it's gonna be interesting. Good Friday morning. So, what's on tap for today? Yeah, I'm spinning around so you can see all the Christmas decorations. Well, I need to do more of the Christmas decorating. I have my YouTube mastermind group. There are a few things I have to go out and get, like more feather boas, simply because I just don't have enough, because I'm using the feather boas to represent snow. So I do need to go get that. Then I need to start on the other rooms. Um, other than that, should be a pretty simple day, I hope. I do hope. Good Saturday morning. Today my goal is to finish up the Christmas decorating and that's about it. Yeah, just to finish it up. That's my only goal. So I'm starting in the realm of the flowers right now. So I'm pulling in all of our Christmas flowers. Um, yeah, should be pretty nice. Okay, so this is what the realm of the flowers looks like right now. Uh, almost done with it. Almost happy with it. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be totally happy with this because, uh, yeah, yeah, but the cool thing is about this, I had all of the fake flowers, every single one of them, haven't had to go out and buy anything, I do love that. Okay, so the second realm is almost finished, a few final touches here and there, and we will have the land of the flowers done. The land of snow is done, except for covering the trees you know, the tree skirts, and then the land of toys is getting there. Um, I'll probably have to do sweets maybe tomorrow or Mon or Tuesday, because I have things to do on Monday, but yes, we're getting there. So it's about 7.30. A normal person would say, hey, it's been a good day, you've done enough, but I haven't, fin I haven't got the pine up in my kitchen, so I'm going to do that right now. Shouldn't take long, I hope. Okay, so even though everything isn't done, 
The kitchen pine is put up. I've got a lot to do with that. Um, then the bedroom isn't done, even like mildly done. But the guest room, or the guest room, the office is done. So we are getting somewhere. We'll have Christmas up by Tuesday when I have to record, no matter what. Good Sunday morning. And, well, it's actually like 10 o'clock, simply because I have been doing a lot of decorating. Because I have friends coming up tomorrow morning. And so I know I wouldn't have a chance to do this. This has to be recorded on Tuesday. Tuesday's always already going to be a shorter day because, well, I have an appointment on Tuesday. So I had to get like everything in place. It's not like perfection or anything, but you'll see it as we go through things. But yeah, so right now, for the most part, it is done. I have the four realms of the Nutcracker all done. I'm happy. Okay, so today has been spent finishing up things. Not 100% done, but it's okay. Um, all the laundry is done. I'm about ready to make the oat milk. And life is pretty good right now, so we're happy. So I keep getting the question of why do I keep working so far ahead? And it's really easy. And I keep repeating this because I keep getting the same question. I like to have some time off. Like Christmas time, I want to take a couple weeks off. I can take that time off without worrying. You know how you see some YouTubers who are like, well, you know, we're going to be off for the next several weeks because we need time away. Well, on my channel, you won't see that because by my working so far ahead, I can take the time off then work ahead later on so I don't have to do that. Now, does that have its own problems? Yeah, it has its own problems. Um, one of the things which it's hard to do is do a timely episode. Uh, if I want to jump onto trend bandwagon, that sort of thing, it's really hard to do because I'm so far ahead by the time the trends come up, um, yeah, I I'm behind. So I don't mind not being trendy. I like being able to take time off. I like being able to do things on my own pace. Um, and, like, people are asking me, well, you're going to leave up your Christmas decorations until Christmas? And I'm like, no. By the time Christmas rolls around, I'll be into, I think, Valentine's Day. Yeah, I think so. But, yeah, I'll have that. I'll just be able to relax and enjoy myself. And I'll be able to do all those fun Christmassy things that some YouTubers don't get to do because they're so wrapped up in trying to make sure that their channel gets a new video out. And I'll just be able to relax and enjoy myself. Good Monday morning, and it is not a filming day, because I unexpectedly have friends coming up, so I'll be doing that, and I'll have to film tomorrow. But, yeah, so I don't know how much I'll vlog today, but we will see. So, even with my bed not completely made and everything sort of the way it is, it really does feel like fall in here. Well, because it really is fall. But yeah, even with the Christmas decorations up, because I didn't go crazy in my bedroom because, well, it's my bedroom. Yeah, so I didn't go crazy with it. It is what I will leave up for fall and winter, but um, yeah, so tomorrow will be a filming day. But other than that, things are pretty normal. So I just watched Peter McKenna's video about how it can be lonely being a YouTuber, and he is right. I know a lot of times it sounds like people are just whining because, you know, oh, I'm a YouTuber and life is so bad. But when you think about the fact that you, we're doing videos, like I'm doing videos probably, like, you know, I film one day a week and then I edit and then I'm getting ready for the other videos. But since I am doing cooking videos, I have to test out these recipes so they can get tested two, three, four times and it's usually just me and then I have to get on social media which is not one of my favorite things to do I don't mind doing like my own personal social media but it's really I'm not the best at doing social media so that is its own thing but when you think about the things which I don't do very rarely do I ever go out that's probably just me not anything else but uh, not seeing people, you know, I rarely ever see anybody else except for the people who, my um, Friday group who I see who do YouTube, uh, other people who when I talk about doing YouTube, they rarely ever understand what exactly it is. They truly think that with YouTube doing these videos, it's just a quick set up your camera and go. 
where you have setups like this with me just talking to you in this it would seem like well this is completely natural and you guys know for a fact this is anything but natural I mean aside from the whole Christmas chaos going back there but like there are extra lights on so that you can see me so that my windows not blasting me out this area over here is set up specifically for my editing so yeah it's not real real and it does get sort of lonely and it gets sort of strange to not talk to people for long periods of time but then it also has its benefits because I am doing something which I love to do I absolutely love making videos I think it's so much fun I mean look at this channel barely anybody watches these videos yet I still keep making them simply because I actually like making these videos every once in a while I go through this whole thing going I should change the way that I do these videos but these videos are more about me just relating to you in my own way and so that's sort of what I'm doing if people like it cool if they don't like it cool but yeah so yeah in case you're wondering yes my friend was up did I say that already I might have said that already if I did I probably cut it out so you don't know that I've said it already um, yeah and we hung out uh, he went to work and now I am what am I doing I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm sort of straightening things up for the video shoot tomorrow, which is the whole, look at my house, it's Christmas. Then I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. Good bright and early Tuesday morning. Today is a recording day. However, I have an appointment at 10, so I can't record till probably 11. But yeah, and it isn't one of those big ones where I'm doing recipes. This is more of the Christmas house tour and then like several Christmas production videos. Other than that, should be a pretty interesting and fun day. One of the things I think very few people realize about me is the fact that I really love Christmas and the fact that I have always dreamed of having a business that was like either centered around just Christmas or centered around the holidays where it would take the holiday like um, I would do things like a dark ride. A dark ride of course is you know those rides like in amusement parks and those sort of things but it would take you through the holiday and it would show you like the decorations in a house or a, a village or a town or something and you'd ride through it and get to see everybody's house all decorated and I think that would be actually sort of cool and um, you'd get to see some of like the progression of time It'd probably be a ridiculously long dark ride but I'd like to do something that, like that so you would see all the different decorations. Um, sort of like if you've ever seen the movie Holiday Inn, I thought that was really cool. It was only open on the holidays and it focused in on all the holidays. And so I've always wanted to do something like that. I've thought about doing a YouTube channel that was just about Christmas or maybe just about the holidays, uh, about what you can do with the holidays. I don't know. I, I don't know. I would love to, but I'm not sure I have the time for it. Uh, but that would be really cool. So, yes, you are the first people to actually hear me say this probably out loud. Maybe one or two other people have heard this. But yeah, I would love to do a, a just like I said, a YouTube channel just about Christmas. I mean, like, I love my house. Decorate it for Christmas. Would I leave this up all year? Probably. Yeah, but I would want to change it out. Um, that's why I want a studio, so I can decorate for that holiday yeah, I, 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 would, I would probably decorate for Christmas all the time. I love to do things, that's why I love doing theater, the sets in theater, because I love making the sets and redecorating them, and that's why I think it would be so much fun to do. Good Wednesday morning, it is bright and early. See, bright. Uh, this is our last day in the 80s, and I have a feeling this is our last day in the 80s this year because tomorrow it's supposed to start falling down into the 60s as a high. So we'll have to see. It's going to be an editing day. Ah, should be a fun day. So Mom had a visitor this morning, that little turtle there. 
uh, was why I didn't get a whole lot of video of it, is because Faith was over at my house at the moment. So uh, what happened was Faith decided that the intruder was dangerous. So she kept barking and barking and barking at it, and I had to get it out. And of course, she barks at the camera anyway. So yeah, that was that was interesting. But yeah, I, we're not sure how it got in. I think it got in on Monday when Faith was getting a bath. Because uh, she was outside getting a bath and the garage door was open. But, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, that was my interesting thing for the morning. Mom's little visitor. So, suddenly today, my dishwasher has started acting up. It'll start a cycle, and then it will run for a few seconds, and then stop. Right now I'm trying to drain it, and it's already drained, but it still keeps draining. This isn't good. This isn't good at all, because right now it's a horrible time for me to have to pay out more money. So yeah, that's bad. So right now I am editing my Christmas house tour, and it is one of the longest videos to edit ever. It's not really that long of a video, but it's just taking forever, and there have been all sorts of problems. But I'm almost done with it, and I am done with the day. We are done with the week. I hope you've had a great week, and I hope I get to see you again next week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe, and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.